<laughs> Guys, welcome to another episode and welcome to the mountain fishing farm. I cannot tell you how much I've been burning up on the inside to tell you guys about this. Uh, basically, I bought a giant farm out in the remote reaches of the Pacific Northwest in an absolute fishing paradise. Uh, this area has some of the best mountain fishing in the entire world. There's over 100 lakes with an hour drive of this farm. Uh, we're gonna go ice fishing in this episode. I'm just gonna show you guys around the farm. Yes, it's like a house, but it's got a legit farm too. There's animal stables down here. We've got a big shop. We're surrounded by beautiful uh, apple orchards. But let me just show you guys the backyard and it'll explain by itself why this is the mountain uh, farm. <laughs> Look at this, we are at the base of a big giant snowy mountain. Look at this. This is the backyard, baby. Mountain right there. We can literally, there's a mountain lake up that mountain, up and over the mountain that we could hike to from the property. I don't know if there's fish in there, but we'll have to find out together. It's gonna be one of the many adventures that we'll do from this farm. <laughs> it hasn't even hit me yet. It just hasn't even sunk in. I spent one night here. I just wanna say thank you from right off the bat, from the bottom of my heart for all of you guys um, just being part of this community, us all sticking together. Uh, I love making these videos for you guys and in my wildest dreams, uh, this would not have been possible to ever pull something like this off. Uh, so what I wanna do is share this place uh, with all of you guys, share every single experience of what farm life out in the mountains in the fishing country is like. There's, <laughs> it's right up there on the ridge, there's uh, probably three deer just staring down at us. As, Who's that guy down at the house talking to himself in the snow? He's a crazy man, we're out of here. And check it out, right over here we even have, oh, <laughs> the snow is so deep. Uh, but right here we have in the backyard, a whole tennis court. It's like a paved tennis, uh, tennis court. Oh my goodness, it's a basketball court. I used to play basketball back in Germany when I was in high school. I was like a tall dude over there. Six feet is tall in Germany. I moved to the US and I don't know what the kids eat here, but man, everyone was taller than me, so I gave up on basketball. The whole property is fenced off and sectioned uh, with gates everywhere and uh, various pastures. There are a couple of uh, pens down here with some shelters for uh, some animals. And man, look at it, it snowed so much last night. That's a good, I don't know, what is that? About four inches of snow, fresh snow that came down last night. Hello, anyone in there? Oh man, this is a mess. Luckily, uh, I did pick up a snow shovel uh, last night, literally last night, not even knowing there was snow coming. I just wanted one. I didn't have one at the house here yet. So that was one of the first things that I bought. And I think we're gonna need this today. All right, but first things first, ooh, echo, it's so empty in this whole house. I'll show you guys around just a little bit, but really I wanna get right into this episode. We're gonna go ice fishing together. In the last episode, I tried going ice fishing real quick, but all I had was a knife to try and pick my way through the ice. That didn't work, so I went to the sporting goods store last night and picked up eight inch ice auger, baby. Manual too, so we'll work up a nice sweat out on uh, the ice today. A Little bit of just some ice fishing gear. I've only been ice fishing once ever in my life, so I don't have any of the basics. Uh, ice scraper for the, the truck, can't forget about that. So I figure we're gonna head out to a lake that's just a couple minutes, literally right behind the house where there's already safe ice to go ice fishing. We're gonna try and catch a trout, cook them up together, probably at the house here so we can like christen the place together. I feel like that's only fair that the first meal we cook here together is a nice buttery trout. Maybe, maybe in a tortilla with a little bit of cheese if you're lucky. So I guess I'm just gonna show you guys around just real quick. Usually you'd have like a cameraman following around, but I, it's just me, so. Uh, right here, there's just like, I thought I'd show you guys. Uh, the house is on a well, two wells. There's like two wells actually. One's for like irrigation and the other one is for domestic water use. Uh, these are water filters right here. It's a triple filter system. I've never lived on a well before. So we're gonna have to figure out together like how to like replace these filters and everything. If you guys uh, live on a well or something, let me know in the comments what your guys' tips are for uh, living on a home with a well. I've never been in that situation before. I learned a lot from you guys. Uh, down here we got, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this room here. It's like just kind of a big uh, downstairs man cave or something. It has a bathroom as well. Very, very sexy 70s carpet right down here. Maybe we should keep the carpet and like go all retro in that room or something. That'd be kind of sweet. Get like some arcade machines. All right, welcome to the upstairs uh, and welcome to 
the temporary control center of Northwest Fishing Secrets. This is everything from the TV room to the office to the connection to the rest of the world. <laughs> There's like an insane echo going on in here right now too. It's crazy like, hello, fish on. And we literally have nothing in this house yet. Check it out in the kitchen. The only like kitchen knife we have right now is this, this hunting knife. <laughs> I've been like cooking with that. Up on this mountain, there's bears and there's mountain lions, all kinds of wildlife. We've obviously already seen deer. Maybe we can spot something together real quick. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there, there's like a deer that's just like traversing. That's just a mule deer up there on the mountain, eating a little bit of uh, grass and whatever she can find. A little weird though, like I'm being watched by deer all day. I'll just show you guys my living arrangement right now. <laughs> I just brought a, a blow up mattress and that's really all I have here is like a little bit of kitchen stuff, some food and a blow up mattress. Slept on that very comfy last night. I didn't realize it came with like a blow up headboard. I've never seen that before. Nope, can't see the mountain from there. <laughs> oh my goodness, the neighbor's ponies rolling around in the snow right now. Why is he so cute? He's absolutely adorable. They've got like a couple of cows, a couple of horses, and like a little, I think it's not a pony, it's a miniature horse, like a dwarf host, horse or something. <laughs> but I'm seeing it's getting really foggy, so we gotta get going and get fishing. Totally forgot we still have to shovel some snow real quick. Oh, geez, I haven't done this. Man, since probably living in Germany in the Black Forest. Dude, snow shoveling, best thing out there. Oh, man. There we go. Should be able to barely open the door. Yo. Oh man, that was a good workout right there. Got just enough of a path cleared for our wheels to get out so we don't compact the snow and make it even worse. <laughs> oh man. Man, I am still sweating bullets, but we are on our way to the ice fishing lake. Out here there's just miles and miles of apple orchards. And then on the road, there's just quail everywhere. My goodness, look at those three little guys. <laughs> go, 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 there's more quail there. Oh, look at them. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh man, there's just like thousands of quail here everywhere between the apple orchards and the farm. It's just amazing how much wildlife is out here. Yesterday I saw a bald eagle on the side of the road, like eating a deer. It was crazy. Like it was just sitting there eating a dead deer. It is a snowy, snowy mess up here. Whew. 
Or another thing I got us is, uh, man, just bought this yesterday. It's covered with snow. Oh, I got us a big old a sled. Or is this, when we're ice fishing, is a sled just a toboggan? Or is it like a different thing? I'm not exactly sure. Let me know in the comments. There we go. All right, man, we are on the lake. And uh, we were out here yesterday testing how thick the ice was with a knife trying to get through, and I couldn't even get through. So before we get out too far, we're just gonna pull out the ice auger real quick. And uh, we're gonna do a test dig, just kind of see how, how thick the ice is, just for safety. There we go. All right, down to the ice. Look at that. Ice is so thick. Oh, there we go. No way. Dude, this ice is so thick. Well, let's see how deep this is. Oh my goodness. The, the ice is like literally this, oh no, don't go through there. The ice is about as thick. I was just barely able to get under the ice with this thing here. So that's probably a foot and a half thick or something. I think we're more than safe. That is awesome. Dang, look at that ice hole right there. We dug a second hole back there so that we can fish uh, two poles. One of them will fish with some bait and then the other one will just jig. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is like the second time for me ever ice fishing. The first time I was with some friends and they showed me all the ropes. Now I gotta figure it out by myself. So let's figure it out together. Let me know in the comments. Have you guys ice fished before? Do you wanna see more ice fishing? All right, let's go, let's do this. Gonna pull out this little guy right here. Just a cheap little ice fishing rod that I picked up uh, yesterday at the store. We have, uh, just one of these little tiny, tiny little things. Again, all that I'm basing this off of is what I've seen other people do on YouTube. Like I said, if you guys have any ice fishing advice, drop it in the comments. I wanna learn from you because we're gonna be doing a lot of ice fishing this winter. But what we're just gonna do is take this guy here, maybe tip it with a little piece of worm and then just kind of jig it in the water and see what happens. And this right here is all we got. Just a little piece of worm with that jig right there. Let's lower in the hole and see if we can get one. All right, down the hole she goes. Ooh, that little jig is nice and uh, heavy going down uh, fast. Okay, yeah, we're down by the bottom. Not that deep here, but that's okay. It's still middle of the day. Sometimes the fish will be in the shallows. I believe when we're ice fishing, we're making really, really small movements with the rod tip. Nothing, nothing crazy. Oh, I can see the little thing. Oh, that looks so good with that tail on there. All right, and then we got this little guy that's like a rod holder. Let's see, how deep is it here? Okay, it's really not that deep, but that's probably okay. Cool, so right now we just got this guy there set up with a little piece of worm. That's just gonna soak. Oh, something's on it. Fish on, baby! Oh my goodness! It's a crappie! 
<laughs> no way, dude. No way. I was, <laughs> I was just going to set this guy up <laughs> and go and get the other, the other pole ready. Man, dude, I haven't caught a crappie in years. We got us a fish dinner. <laughs> wow, dude, a crappie. That's so cool. He's absolutely inhaled that little worm. Crappie are absolutely delicious, delicious fish. He's not huge, they can get a lot bigger, but they're super, super tasty. They're gorgeous fish with a huge uh, dorsal fin on them. There we go, just put this guy right to sleep, that way he doesn't need to suffer anymore. Thank you, buddy, and we'll just throw him right on ice. He'll stay nice and fresh here for us. Wow, dude, there's crappie. I didn't even know there were crappie here. Let's see if we can catch some more. All right, let's just send that baby right back down. Oh, oh, we just had a bite. Just had a bite. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there's a bite. There he is. Oh, oh, we lost him. We lost him. But there's more down there. There's more. All I'm doing is going to the bottom and then coming up maybe this much off the bottom right there. And then they keep hitting it when I'm just holding it still. Just check our bait, make sure the worm is still there. Yep, worm's still there and everything. We go all the way to the bottom. Everyone calm down, calm down, just the bottom. All right, tell you what, we're just gonna set this guy up here again. Okay, let's go ahead and get the other uh, rod set up. We'll uh, go with the bullet lure on this one. Bullet lure, baby. Let's tip the bullet lure with just a little piece of worm as well. the rod I thought I saw it move there two small pieces of worm on that one we're gonna go over here and uh, dip this guy in this hole and see how deep this is <laughs> okay I can see why the little ice fishing poles if you've ever wondered why those little short poles are so popular for ice fishing it's so you can get closer to the hole and still fish I mean you could ice fish with a six foot rod like this all right we're on the bottom just gonna jig that bullet lure just a little bit. Curious how deep it is here. Oh yeah, way deeper. Nice. Oh, there we go, fish on. Oh no. Oh, he came off, he stole one of our worms. All right, let's go right back down to him. What were you, sneaky little fish? Oh, something's hitting the other rod. You gotta watch the other rod, something's hitting it. Oh, oh, something's on it. Oh, no, he didn't hook up, didn't hook up, was just testing it. Oh my goodness. Guys, we hit, we hit the, the ice fishing uh, honey hole here. What is going on? Oh, there he is, fish on, baby. Oh my goodness, a trout! A trout, let's go! Yes, a rainbow! <laughs> oh, guys, this is sweet! Dinner is secured. Look at this beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Ah, there we go. Let's put that little guy to sleep real quick. Look at this, guys, we got us the crappie. We got a beautiful trout right there. Man, I didn't think that this was going to be so successful. I was kind of just hoping to maybe catch one fish at all or even just know how to dig an ice hole. I was hoping the ice was going to be safe, that our gear would work, that we don't fall through. Who knows, the day's not over yet. All right, I'll take it. I will take it. This little dude here is absolutely on fire. Let's go ahead and just lower that down again. Crappie, trout. And that trout like bit in maybe seven feet of water. I mean, he was really, really shallow here. So I guess you don't need to go super deep out on the lake. That's good to know. He was playing with it there the whole time while we were fishing the bullet lure, which, oh, we gotta check the bullet lure. All right, let's see if there's any anything going on over here. We did get a bite over here and someone stole part of a worm, so something's happening. No way, something's on over there again. All right, we're gonna sneak up this time. Sneak up on him. Sneak up on him. Come on, baby. We're just gonna grab the rod. I'm not gonna make the mistake of setting too fast again. Just play with it. 
play with it. Oh, there he is. There. Oh, we just had a bite. Just had a bite. There he is. Fish on, baby. There he is. Oh, good one. Good fighter. Good fighter. Good fighter. Oh, my goodness. What the? It's a brown trout. Brown trout, baby. My goodness. I cannot believe this. Triple species. Within, like, I haven't even hit stop on the GoPro yet. Look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous brown trout. Man, I used to catch these guys in, uh, in Germany. What in the ice hole is going on? Oh my goodness, oh, geez. He slurped that little guy up. He was down there playing with it and we just had to let him play a little bit. I cannot believe we got a brown trout. We got three fish. Guys, I, I don't know if I wanna catch a whole lot more, to be brutally honest. We've got enough for, uh, for dinner with uh, three species, rainbow trout, brown trout, and a crappie. All right, let's make sure that nothing's nothing's on the bull lure. God, it felt like something was playing with it there. Oh, it, they took the worm. They took every last bit of it. Look at that, bullet lure is picked clean. So an idea of what I have for a future episode is that we grab the backpack with a tent and we go backpacking uh, somewhere across the lake. Like there's a forest on the other side of shore there and we could set up camp anywhere there and set up like an ice fishing camp. You guys wanna see that? That would be absolutely awesome. Dude, look at this. We got a brown trout, a rainbow trout, a crappie. <laughs> that is just nuts. So glad I picked up these little tiny uh, weighted jigs. I don't know if the fish are actually going after the jig itself or if it's just a good vessel to send down a small piece of worm. Tell you what, we're gonna send this baby down one more time before we head back to the farm. I'm just, I can't stop right now. I just can't stop. That was way too exciting. Oh, those are, there's already one on it. Oh, there was already one on it. There was one on it right away. Let's see if the worm is still there. Oh, they took the worm. They're just on it right away. The fish are so hot here right now. Come on, baby. Oh, there he is. There he is. Let him munch it. On, baby. <laughs> oh, 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 fighter, fighter, fighter. Good fish. Good fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's running. Oh boy. Oh, we, have, we might have a monster here, guys. What is this? Oh! Oh! Come on, baby. He was on it right away. Right away. He's over that way under the ice. Oh, there's the leader. There's the leader. Come on, baby. Oh! oh it's a monster! What is this? Oh, it's a... Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go! It's a giant bass! Oh, it's a giant bass! <laughs> a PB bass, baby! PB bass! Oh my goodness, we're gonna get him right back in the hole. We're not keeping this. You guys have probably caught some way bigger ones. For me, this is a PB. This is probably... Ah, I don't know, three pounds maybe. My PB so far is two pounds, but let's just get this guy right back in the hole. We're not gonna keep uh, not gonna keep this bass. Oh my goodness, come on, buddy. All right, oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. All right, thank you so much. Right back in the hole, and off he goes. <laughs> let's go. What just happened? Ah. Uh. Ice fishing rocks. Shout out to all you ice fishing people. You weirdos, I'm one of you now. I'm one of you. What, why was that bass so big? Why was he so big? Why is there a bass in here? Why, why are there bass under the ice? I didn't know that you can catch bass through the ice. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm, 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 I'm done, I'm done. White flag right there. Just got us a few branches right here that we're gonna stick into the ice holes. And man, just look at this lake too. Absolutely beautiful. Not a soul out here, just us. 
stick them uh, just into the hole like that. Just because these are like eight inch holes. It's not like anyone's gonna fall through. I just wanna make sure that they're marked and, oh, jeez. Oh, just wanna make sure that like no one twists their ankle or something, falls like I did right there. There we go. Plus that way we know how to find that hole right there again. back at the farm oh just look at that view Ooh, skating baby <laughs> skating down the driveway okay I'm, I'm gonna fall hello little cows and horses all right just gonna show you guys the uh the barn real quick just before it gets completely dark behind this gate here there's just a couple of uh animal shelters with a couple of like runabouts for them and then right over here ugh, in all the snow, we've got the, uh, st uh, the the attack room right there for when we get horses or something. And then check this out, this giant, giant barn. All right, let's go inside. Ooh. <laughs> this thing is absolutely giant, man. We'll be able to fit uh, the boat probably in here. We'll get the, the camper van uh, in here as well. That way it's heated. Let's see what's over here by this door. Oh, man, we got to shovel a little bit of snow. This is like pretty much as tall as I am. GoPro just died, so I threw you guys on the phone. But look around, man. All the projects we can do in here together, it's going to be amazing. Look at all that snow piled up against the, the barn. What happens is it slides off the roof and then just mounds up in these giant piles. We'll check all this out more in future episodes. But uh, for right now, let's get inside and get that fish cooked up. Good night, little cows. Now I gotta sharpen this knife. And then just cut the head right off like that. Take the head, rip it. All the guts will just come right off with it. This little guy back here, that's just the kidney. Score that real quick. And then you just push it all, push it all out like that. And you got a clean trout. Come on, it'll cut behind the head. Pull that baby right there. All the guts come out. Oh. Get back in there, head. In the bag with you. Score the kidney. And that is how quick and easy it is to clean a trout. Now into the crappie. I haven't cleaned one of these guys in forever, but you can do exactly the same thing. Just cut them right there by the belly. Cut it right behind the head. Head and the guts come right out. And we got us a clean crappie as well. Ow! Oh, jeez. These little back uh, fins here. Man, he's got some good pokers back here. All right, now with the trout, I'm not gonna bother pulling the skin off just because trout have really, really small scales and they just kind of turn into like a panko crust when you're frying them. Now the crappie on the other hand, they've got really big scales, so we're gonna skin that baby. He's not the biggest crappie in the world, but that's okay. There we go, just one little score. Goodness, little guy, you are going to be delicious. Just made a little cut on uh, each side of that back dorsal fin right there. All we gotta do is grab that skin right in the front there, hold down the meat, and then we just pull that skin. Oops, right off of them. Oh, there's scales going everywhere. Oh my goodness, we're making a mess. And then what you can do is take this fin right here, 
I just pull it right out. You can even do the same with the bottom fin right there. Just make sure you don't poke yourself with these guys. Ooh, there we go. And look at that. We got a beautiful skinless, ready to fry little crappie. All right, turn this baby here on high. A little bit of butter. Listen to that sizzle right there. Got some mushrooms here that can go right in there as well. Ooh, yeah. Woo. Browning those mushrooms and the onions to perfection. I don't have like anything here in this kitchen yet, so I'm using like a paper plate as a, as a pan lid. <laughs> right, we got an avocado here that we're gonna get ready. Ooh, it's looking good. Oh, not perfect, not perfect on this one. <laughs> That's too bad. All right, we'll cut away a little bit of the brown stuff. There we go. Not worried about it. Time for the fish. Funny, the, the brown trout doesn't even look that different from the rainbow trout uh, right now. They're about the same size. Get on in there. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll even stagger them like that to fit more in the pan. The crappie can go right here. And all we're going to do, we're gonna keep this baby simple. A little bit of Danish sea salt. Right about. Yeah, maybe not quite that much. <laughs> right about that, right there. That's what we're gonna throw in. Beautiful, beautiful Danish sea salt. You know what, no, we, did, we do need a little more. My gut instinct was right. There we go. Oh, oh, oh that crappie looks beautiful. Nice and golden brown. Flip them around, oh my goodness. Now one thing I really wanna do is add like a big uh, range hood up above there to suck up all the stuff. Right now it's only got this thing. And I don't know, these things never work very well. It's a lot easier to cook the trout outside and all the, the smoke can just go wherever it wants to go. And here it's like <laughs> it's smoking us out, man. <laughs> Let's see how those trout look. I think they might be done. Ooh. Look. At that, even the pin bones came out of that guy. Nothing left on here. All right, I'm super curious to try this uh, crappie tail. Look at the meat just come right off of this little guy here. All right, here's a crispy, crispy crappie tail. Let's see if it tastes as good as a trout tail. Oh, like one of the little bones jabbed me into my gums. Little bonier, little crispier, but good. Very tasty. All right, here, here's just a little bit of the crappie meat. I'm really curious just what it tastes like. Mm. Guys, that's delicious. That's absolutely delicious. I'm so happy that there's crappie in that lake right there. All right, and here is something that we have not done in way too long. Goodness, the cheese and the tortilla have become best friends. All right, all we're gonna do here is put in some trout first. This is the brown trout on that side, and then we'll do a rainbow trout taco on that side. Some mushroom and onion. Mm -mm 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 -mm. A big slice of avocado on each one of these tacos. All right, boys and girls, I think we once again here have a trout taco perfection. Let's go ahead and just, just we're just going right in. Brown trout first, we're gonna compare it to the rainbow. Mmm. Mmm. Those mushrooms, like, were the first thing that hit me. To be totally honest, the first definable flavor that hit me was the mushrooms with an overwhelming, earthy undertone. The onions add a little bit of sweetness. The fish, very subtle, not fishy at all on the brown trout. The avocado just kind of creams it all up. Let's see how the rainbow is. Mmm. Mmm. 
All right, that's not 100% fair. The rainbow maybe tastes a little bit better, but the brown trout is firmer. The rainbow is a little mushy, brown trout firmer, but really, really good flavor on the rainbow trout. It seems like it's a little sweeter than the brown trout. All right, I'm gonna polish the rest of that off and then just relax for the rest of the night because I still have a lot of work to do here. We gotta move in some furniture to just get rid of this darn echo, but I am looking forward to sharing everything that happens out here at the farm with you. So let me know what you wanna see at the Mountain Fishing Ranch in the comments below. I'll be reading them, I'll see you guys in the comment section, but that is all I got for you guys in this episode. I love you. We will be out at the Desert Compound again very soon too, maybe in the next couple episodes, we got some serious work to do out there as well. So we'll see you either there or here on the next one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, especially if you're still brand new. I'd love to have you join. To anyone who is new to the channel, thank you for being subscribed. I love every single one of you. Couldn't do any of this without your guys' support. So, all right, we'll see you guys for the next one. Till then, you all know it, fish on, baby. Today on the California coast with my good friend Adam from Die Hard Fishing, Lincoln, Rockfish, Cabazon, those kind of fish from any hook. We're looking for a big Lincoln today. There's a great white shark. Oh my god. It's over here? Oh shit. Oh damn, Tucker, don't let him get you. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Oh my goodness.